Hello everyone, welcome to From the Depths. This is a building game akin to Space Engineers. Basically a lot more complicated. And it's got ships, so what's not to love? Let's go into the single player. We're gonna start a new campaign. Don't worry, I'm ready for this. We're gonna do the standard quest for Neither campaign. Neither, Nader, not sure how to pronounce that. Nader's primary planets, it ships with the game, it's constantly updated. Eight factions, one campaign and a number of story missions. You'll play in this alone war machine engineer against the eight factions of the planet. Factions are hostile and you'll need to have your wits about you to keep a foothold in this campaign. The strategic map, accessible with M, will show you their attack fleets and allow you to spread your forces across the globe. Modify the enemy growth rate for a more manageable or challenging experience. In this campaign you're already at war with the Deep Water Guard, a group of pirates and scavengers who will do anything to survive. Even if that means salvaging the ship you're sailing on. Right, so we are going to be going in at... Oh. That is. We're going to leave that at 1. We're going to leave... We'll put the growth factor on... 1.5. Because I've been playing this game for a while. We'll put the resource given at... 0.2. And we'll up the design difficulty to... There we go. We'll put it at 1.72. So they'll be using expert designs. Ooh, now we can actually choose between having a global pool of resources. Or having localized resources. Which is what we are going to be playing on. Let's get into this campaign, shall we? And so we spawn in, we get this starting fortress, which is pretty cool, I suppose. It's a bit small. Doesn't look very heavily armored. I like the spinning resources though, that's pretty cool. But yeah, we're gonna have to customize this a bit, probably. And we're gonna have to f familiarize ourselves with it. That's... Very vulnerable. Okay, so we've got some ammo processors which will be using metal to produce more ammo for us. It's all a bit complicated, I can imagine, but basically, if I've. Nope, that's not. Okay, so basically, on the lower part of the screen, you've got five bars of resources from left to right it's natural resources which is wood and the likes you've got metal you've got oil you've got scrap and crystal and you need all those to build different things we can just go ahead and scrap this here we don't need those there's a little electrical engine here with a battery that's great. Actually, I think I just deleted our spawn beacon, which is sort of useful. I'm gonna enable all the blocks, just because. Um, where is the... The spawn beacon. There we go, we, we sort of need that. Yeah, it'll be fine. Here we've got a small crystal farm, which will be getting us crystal. We've got a refinery and fuel storage. Alright. That's on, that's good. And that's going to be making our fuel. Look cool. Um... Oh, here's the control room, in case we want to move. Still in early access, so, you know, things like this are bound to happen. But yeah, we can move if we want to, but the question is, do we want to? And probably not. We've got one gun over here, which is not the best in the world. Just gonna take a quick look at what it does. Ok, 
Okay, that's reasonable explosive damage, but it's kind of got a long cooldown to it, so that's fair. Uh, let's check the map. Okay, we can't see any enemies yet. There's a build menu here. Interesting. Okay, before we start altering anything, let's check out that little boat over there, which is also ours. We don't have to be afraid just yet. Take a dip. Okay, it's a small missile boat, that's cool. Short range thruster, fuel tanks, fins, explosive warhead, and infrared seekers, okay. So basically, this ship will be probably the first ship that we use to engage the enemy. Switch to a little better view. There we go, we have gotten control of the boat. We are sailing around, doing fun things. It's not very fast. Alright. We'll just park you here then, I guess. And you can... Well, we're not going to be able to add much to it in this layout. I'm going to quickly add a mirror line. There we go. I'd much rather you'd be a bit faster than look pretty. There we go. That's reasonable. Get out of the seasickness mode. There we go. We've got a little radar, but fortunately that is not good enough. We're going to need something bigger. I've turned on mirror mode to build on both sides at once. There we go, that should help get us some more radar coverage, which will help us see things. We're probably going to launch a balloon soon, to actually get up there and do the recon for us. But for now, I think this will have to do... make you guys dizzy but I'm gonna access that get rid of the lamp oh so turns out we can place something in between there that's okay that's not what I wanted to do oh boy temporarily place you there Oh, I see. Oh, it's been a while since I played this. There we go. We fixed our error. But yeah, that's going to be making us stuff. This is going to be making crystal. That's going to be our fuel there. And where's the oil pumps? I know there's oil pumps somewhere. There we go. These go down into the ground, and then you get some oil, which is great. They're probably over at the refinery, aren't they? Oh, great, here's the storage. Eh, this looks pretty. But yeah, there's going to be containers in here. We've got a lot of capacity for stuff for now, so we don't have to worry about that much. Which is good, because I don't like worrying about that a lot. And we've got the engines over here. They're inefficient, but at the same time, I haven't played much with the new engines. So, that's going to be a quest of discovery. And is there any way we can get back up from here? We'll make do. There we go. Probably should put a st put stairs there or something. Oh, well. Yeah, so. Um, first things first. Try and find out where those oil... Okay, there they are. Enough oil left in the zone, I guess. I mean, we can leave things as they are at the moment. But we're going to build another turret somewhere. Probably on here, actually. New object. Two uh, I'm going to use a one-axis turret. Which is horizontal. Horizontal, probably. 
And we're gonna place an advanced cannon on it. Advanced firing piece. We'll put a two meter tall AA metal on there. I am not explaining much yet. I'm sorry about that, but I hope things will get clearer as we go along. For now, I'm just gonna build a small basic cannon that is rapid firing. And will be some sort of AA gun, I guess. Nope, oh, that gets me out of build mode. Switch back to editing the turret. Go out of that. We're gonna place one gauge increase, which increases the shell size that we fire. And then I'm gonna place some gauge cooling units. Also gonna be placing some auto loaders, which is where the shells are actually stored in. And then you can place ammo clips on top, which hold additional shells. And then you can put ammo input feeders on the side, like that. You have to connect those up to an ammo source, and then you get more ammo, which is great. For now, no, we have to oh, leave build mode again. I haven't played this in a long time, but I have played like a hundred hours of this. A while back. Well, it's actually becoming too long, isn't it? Yeah, we're gonna cut this short just a bit. There we go, make sure it can still turn. We'll put the ammo router below there. That should have no problem turning around. There we go. One extra storage so it doesn't go up or down. No shells in there yet, which is fine. We'll just use that source for now. Keep it simple. And it's going to be loading up now. And we're going to be launching our shells at the enemy soon. Probably want to... Put a mirror line down. We're going to get some... Armor on this turret. There we go. That should still keep it turning. Just a test. Okay, good. Now we have to put the mirror line back. That's the only small issue. But aside from that, there we go. We have a... Where's the thing that I'm... There we go. That's... No, that's not it. There we go. It's gonna have a very basic turret for the moment. And we're probably going to attach an AI to it that will aim for us. If we look over here, you see there's a, an AI weapons controller with a failsafe. We're going to copy that. We're going to drag that across. And hopefully... Nope. Turns out I built it in slightly the wrong place. That's okay. can always adjust still loading ammo that's good yeah, I mean we can keep this as a metal so it doesn't really matter and if we do that I will go ahead and go back to the fans cannons fall of shot predictor we'll place that hit it in there which is actually still functional and then we can predict where the shell is going to fall. So we're going to keep this gun manual for now. That's okay. And pretty soon we will start working towards a better ship. But actually, before we do that, I'm going to put some more resources. Where's the resource gatherer? Um, this is just storage, isn't it? Resource gatherer, there we go. We're gonna put those on there. That's gonna get us some more material. I'm gonna be probably gathering some material off screen. And I might even import a ship from like my previous saves. Just so we can get started a little bit quicker. And of course I will keep explaining things as we go. Until then, let's just take a quick look 
Let's see if we can improve this kind of maybe. Try that. <laughs> Gonna make it wildly more inaccurate, but doesn't even help us in the long run, so we're just gonna keep that there. Actually, we can make this a double-barreled gun, which will decrease the size of the shell, but increase our fire rate, hopefully. Uh, 0.97. Okay, so if we try adding another gauge cooling unit, No, that's not what I want you to do. Huh. I had this working earlier. Now, of course. Oh, I think it's because of the multiple... Lotus, I see. Yep, there we go. So if we want to have one barrel firing at once and then circle all four barrels, then I would have to remove this one. There we go. Now if we go to double, or actually six barrels, that'll show you. Now it's just one gun firing at once. And it's cycling around, which is great. We're going to keep this a double barrel for now. Just gonna wait till this. Actually, now that we've removed that one, we can add that one. Get another intake there. Another intake there. So we're gonna have four intakes loading that auto loader, and that's gonna hopefully help us out load it a little bit quicker. But yeah, we're gonna be. First things first, we'll probably build a radar balloon next, which we can launch up high, and that'll help us get more knowledge about where the enemies are, and then we can actually get to the meat of the game, which is shooting the enemies. Might even be able to get some more vision by extending this a bit more, although we are so low that it is not very efficient. I do like the new Starter Fortress though, it's a lot better than the old one used to be. And I'm gonna place yet more of these, they're not gonna be looking pretty, but they're gonna do the work that I want them to do. Which is get us more resources. Because resources are key to making it far in this game. Now before we exit this first episode, I'm gonna look you can yep we've got nothing absolutely nothing we can spawn some built-in designs like we can go to the deep water guard and be like let's see let's there we go we're gonna build an urchin now it spawns in the blueprint over there and these repair tentacles go to work press the wrong button yeah, we're gonna be building this urchin here. Once that is done, I will probably end the episode. And advance time a bit off camera. Maybe do some building. And then, actually, before we leave, I'll just mirror line. Play some additional repair tentacles. This is going way too slow. Also, the urchin is upside down because of reasons. We're gonna grab it with this tractor beam. We're gonna hold it in place, yes! There's logic. And we start building a bit ourselves as well because we like helping our repair tentacles. There we go, we've built the sail. So there are multiple propulsion systems in this game. You can use sails, you can use Modern engines, you can use, you can have planes, you can have submarines, you can have satellites, you can have balloons. And we're going to be trying to have a healthy mix of all of those in our fleet as we take on the Deepwater Guard. We have built their arch in, we have stolen their design, it's a bit wonky. It's got a 
dual cram cannon in this, actually. Quite the recoil, damn. But anyway, that has been the first episode of From the Depths. If you want to see more of this game and give me a chance to actually properly pronounce it, um, not pronounce it, explain what is all going on, then please do leave a like down below. It shows me that From the Depths is a game you wish to see continue on the channel. Leave a comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you all next time with some more From the Depths. Until then, have a good one, folks.